You try this without God, you tripping. You tripping. Life is hard. See, for every time you have a plan, an aspiration, or a goal, this thing comes along called life. It happens to everybody. You're going to lose somebody you care about one day. Somebody going to close the plant you thought was going to stay open so you could retire. That's a false hope to think you're going to have a wonderfully carefree life. When you under stress, don't just think, man, Lord must not mean for it to be. How do you think you're going to be a plant without no dirt? Because seeds were designed to produce in the darkness. The transformative power of God, the ability to turn this into that, is often done in the dark. He puts you in a private place, and there he begins to bring about change. It might be dark for you right now, but it's not over. You might be going through a season of the absence of a thing that you legitimately need but it's not over. If I look around me, I see circumstances. If I look in me, I see hope. Shut your eyes to what you see. The power that's gonna deliver you is coming from the inside. I'm better. I'm better than I was when I went down. I'm better for it. I didn't like it, but I'm better for it. Every time you go through something dark, remember you've been planted. And when you come up, tell somebody and tell them I'm coming up. When we see the dark clouds coming, let's settle the end from the beginning. I am coming out of this. Oh my God, I wish I had some faith in this room. You ought to make a declaration right now. I am coming out of this. I may have to crawl. I may have to suffer. But when everything is said and done, I will come out of this. Solomon was the wisest man that ever lived. He wrote in the book of Ecclesiastes, there is a time for joy and a time for sadness, a time to be born and a time to die. He was saying life is going to happen to us all, ups and downs, victories and losses, promotions and setbacks. If he had stopped there, we'd think, tell me something new. But after listing all the things that can happen, he said in verse 10, I've thought about this and come to the conclusion, God makes all things beautiful in its time. You're going to go through things that are not fair. It's easy to live discouraged, but if you'll just stay in faith and keep moving forward in time, God will make all things beautiful. Nothing beautiful about going through a loss or dealing with an illness. Just give it some time. You don't have to live worried. God is working behind the scenes. What you thought was going to limit you the rest of your life, the bad break, the mistake you made, that is not how your story ends. Beauty is coming. It's going to turn out better than you've imagined. God will make all things beautiful, not just the good breaks, not just the promotions. That's obvious. But he'll make the disappointments, the mistakes. That's how awesome our God is. Don't give up on your dreams. Bitter over the person that walked away or upset over the contract that should have been yours. Let it go. God saw what happened. He said he would pay you back double for the wrongs. He just needs some time. Now, while you're waiting, stay in faith. When is it ever going to turn around? This is not fair. Pass the test. Keep going to work with a good attitude. Keep speaking victory in the face of defeat. God is still on the throne. At the right time, you're going to see him show out in your life in such a way that you don't think about what you've lost. You're so fulfilled, you don't dwell on the negative things in your past. You keep honoring God, and he's going to make up for what you didn't get. He's going to have the right people come to you to push you into your purpose. He knows who left you out. 
He knows the times you didn't think you could go on. He's going to do something awesome in your life. Perhaps you went through a breakup. You're hurting. You're lonely. God is not finished. He's not going to leave you depressed. He has someone amazing coming where you're going to be happier and more fulfilled than you've ever been. Don't judge the rest of your life by one difficult season. Thoughts will tell you it's never going to change. Just accept it. Don't believe those lies. God promised he will make all things beautiful. Now here's the key, just give it some time. The mistake we make often is we get in a hurry. Voices whisper, if it was going to happen, come on man, it would have happened by now. Trust the process. All things in its time will be beautiful. If it hasn't happened yet, then it hasn't been the right time. When it's your time to see beauty, promotion, vindication, it will happen. How we wait is important. If we wait upset, God, why did these people do me wrong? That's going to delay the beauty. The right way to wait is in an attitude of faith, knowing that he's working all things for your good, expecting his favor. This difficulty didn't come to stay, it came to pass. God being for me is more than the world being against me. The scripture says everything serves his plan. Not just the good breaks, but the disappointments are serving his plan. The closed doors, the people that did you wrong. You have to trust the process. God's ways are not our ways. All that is necessary to become who you were created to be. A friend of mine started a new business. I would call him some evenings. and He would be out meeting with clients several nights a week. It seemed like the harder he worked, the worse it got. His dream was to give the company to his children. But after 30 years, they had to close the doors. He was so disappointed. He was embarrassed, ashamed, and hurt. He thought, God, how could you let this happen to me? I have nothing to show for all these years of hard work. He used to be so positive and full of faith. He had lost his fire. We all go through things that don't make sense, but God wouldn't have allowed it if it wasn't going to serve his plan. One day, a door unexpectedly opened for my friend, a position where he could use his gifts in a much greater way. He said, I feel like the 30 years I put into my former business was not lost, but it was to prepare me for what I'm doing now. The amount of people he used to impact in a year, he now does in one day. God knows how to make all things beautiful if you'll just give him the time. You don't understand, it wasn't fair, just keep moving forward. God is not going to waste anything you went through. You're about to come out to new levels, see favor that you've never seen. Quit believing those lies that you've had too many bad breaks. You have a good reason to live sour. Look at what you've been through. That was all setting you up for something you've never imagined. Things that were meant to harm you, struggles that have tried to discourage you, bad breaks that should have limited your life, this is a new day. You're about to see vindication, new opportunities. The tide is turning in your favor. What was meant for your harm, God is turning to your advantage. All those times you thought that God had forgotten about you, the truth is God still had his hands on you. When you weren't making good decisions, giving in to the temptation, his hands have always been on you. And the good news is he's never going to take his hands off of you. His calling on your life is irrevocable. He's going to keep making you and molding you. That there's a time for weeping, a time for loss, but that is not the end of the story. God also said he will make all things beautiful in its time. There's a time for restoration, a time for deliverance, a time for celebration. Give God the time, he'll make all things beautiful. The timing is not up to us, it's up to God. Will you wait for his plan to unfold? Will you not get discouraged? When you understand this principle, it takes the pressure off. You won't live frustrated. You'll say, God, everything's not perfect in my life, but I'm going to enjoy today knowing that you're on the throne and at the right time, you're going to make all things beautiful in my life.
We can all look back and think, man, if I'd only stayed in that relationship, if I'd only finished college, where could I be now? But God has a way of making all things beautiful, even mistakes that we've made, things that we know we should have done better. He knows how to give you another chance. In his time, he will make all things beautiful. You wouldn't be hearing this if God wasn't about to do something unusual, something out of the ordinary.